Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Good morning. Welcome to another vlog. I'm going to take you along with me. It's currently a Friday morning and I have just like a lot of fun stuff planned. So I thought it'd be fun to just take you along with me, uh, show you what I'm reading in the process of this vlog and just hang out with y'all. Here is the plan. Right now I'm on my way to go work uh, with my best friend Amy and then once we get off of work and we're gonna do maybe some bookish stuff and go to my workout class maybe do maybe do a Trader Joe's run we'll see and I head to Amy's house <laughs> So we just got to the bookstore. We're gonna do a Barnes trip, as you can see. And I have some of the books written down that I am interested in looking at. First one being Things We Left Behind by Lucy Score, which came out two days ago? What date is it? Three days ago. Three days ago. So hopefully it's there, not sold out. The Summer Broken Rules and What Happens After Midnight. I've listened to both those books. So usually if I really like a book I listen to, I will want to buy the book. So those are on my radar. It happened one summer, same thing. I really, really love that book, so I might want to buy it, but I've only listened to it. And then the second one of um, that series is Hook, Line, and Sinker, so I probably will want to read that book eventually, so I might buy that. Then I also, in this category, I listened to What in Rome, and I thought it was so cute, so I might want to buy that. And then the ones that I haven't read that I'm are on my radar are The Grace Year, Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, Lessons in Chemistry, Red Rising, and Divine Rivals, so... Let's go see if we can find any of these books. store and I'm going to give you a little book haul. I'm going to do my books and Amy's books. So we'll start with my haul. First book that I was actually not going to buy but then the lady at the checkout counter convinced me and it was $5 off so that's why I convinced myself but Lessons in Chemistry. I actually have not even read the back of this book but it's on Goodreads most popular books of the year list and I've heard a lot of people talk about it so I think it will be a fun read. So pick this up for $5 off so amazing. Oh, honey would like to say hello, everybody. This is honey. Say hi. She's like a little. <laughs> she's so like poor little. She's like a little peanut. Would you like to get down? The next book I grabbed was Red Rising. This is a science fiction, and I actually have never read a science fiction, so I'm excited to branch out and try this genre with Red Rising because I've heard a lot of great things about it. A lot of people on BookTube are reading it, so picked up this. Next book I grabbed was When in Rome. I actually listened to this book like I mentioned before and usually when I listen to a book and I rate it like four stars or above I like to have the physical copy. It's actually super short. It was actually a short audio now that I think back to it. Um, so I just wanted to have this because I really really love this story. It's about this famous girl um, that goes to this really small town and meets this guy who's a baker uh, and it's just a really nice, short, sweet, small town romance. But there's a lot of like heavier, important topics in it because she's like a famous person. And so then you deal with like the aspect of fame, which um, was really interesting. And I hadn't read a book with that trope in it before. So really liked this book. So I wanted to have it in the physical form. Last but not least, I got none other than 
Things We Left Behind. This is the third book in the Knockabout series. The first one is Things We Never Got Over and Things We Hide From The Light is the second one by Lucy Score. Uh, I feel like this is probably one of the most anticipated books for me of the year just because I absolutely love that series and I read it earlier this year. So this is about um, Sloan and Lucian. I feel like a lot of people are really excited for those two characters in this story. I liked them but I was never like super obsessed with them or anything. I definitely really loved Nash. I was really excited for the second book and loved the second book uh, but I think I'm still gonna love this because I absolutely love being in the town of Knockabout. It just literally feels like I'm watching Schitt's Creek again or just like in in the small town vibe. So really, really excited to read this. Next on to Amy's amazing stack of books. We actually both got this one. So hopefully we might buddy read it together, maybe. <laughs> Quietly. Yeah, we're getting buddy read it. We're getting buddy read this together. Hopefully you'll see. Don't want to force it. We don't want to get each other into a book club or read some, but it's fine. We're, she picked this up. Well, we buddy read, hi. we buddy read <laughs> This we did. We, we didn't buddy read it, but we read it around the same time. Yeah. yeah. So Excuse then Amy me. also got these. Wait, did you read it on Kindle? Yes. Okay. So Amy also got the first two you know in the what? series. I think I read the first one on Kindle and listened to the second one. Oh, okay. Amazing. So she got the other two in the series because she doesn't have them. So now it's just like that. Is, these are so pretty. Right? Yeah. They're pretty they're objectively. Cute. Yeah. But they're not our style. Okay. The next one she picked up was If He Had Been With Me. You're reading this on your Kindle? Yes. And that's my copy that I brought to her so then she decided to buy her own. So she has this book now. And then this one, Big Swiss, this is like a literary fiction? Yes. And I think I found it on a list of books if you loved Mary Jane. And we absolutely love Mary Jane. So I probably will want to read this too. So I can actually this. look up what it's about. Here. Yeah, I can look it up. What the heck is this, Amy? <laughs> what is this? It's a very interesting cover. Very intriguing. Like, what's happening there? Oh, wait. I don't know. It is it a series? <gasps> Amy, there's bees on the back. Yeah. Wait, I, I might be wrong about that having anything to do with Mary Jane. Mary Jane. Just... Maybe, though. Um, it's about a sex therapist who falls in love with a client while listening to her sessions while, while they, when they accidentally meet in real life an explosive affair. It has nothing to do with uh, Mary Jane. Maybe we should start that over. No, that's, that's cute. Okay. It's the vibe. It's not at all Mary Jane, but we love Mary Jane. Okay, well, that's that book. So let us know how that is. Um, what is this? <laughs> I don't know. I like the bats. The bats are cool. Um, I don't know. Read the bat. Isolated in a remote mansion in a central European forest, Laura longs for a compassionate... Oh, Laura longs for a compassionate companionship, super dyslexic, until a carnage accident brings another young woman... Is that how you say that? I don't know what this was about. Why I bought it. I thought it was, it said, said it in the Central European forest. And then I guess I didn't keep reading. Okay, we're going to keep reading. It's so short though. That yeah, it's really short. I kind of uh, got it from you too. Until a carnage accident brings another young woman into her life. The secretive and sometimes erratic Carmilla. As Carmilla's actions become more puzzling and volatile, Laura develops bizarre symptoms. And as her health goes into decline, Laura and her father discover something monstrous. Joseph's. Oh, that's the author's compelling tale of a young woman woman's seduction by a female vampire was a source of influence for Bram Stoker's Dracula. Wow. I honestly, maybe I'll read that, but it's kind of for my boyfriend. This is for Miguel. Here you go, Miguel. Last but not least, Amy got The Fairy Bargains of Prospect Hill. Is this a cozy fantasy, do we think? I think so. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. But I'm really trying to convince Amy to read fantasy, so maybe this is fantasy. Well, at least it has fairies. That's that's cute. Yeah. And you like fairies. Um, remember, we read the blurb. There's no magic on Prospect Hill. Oh, yeah. So, yes, it is a fantasy. Cute. So, that's the last book, and that is our haul. I feel like we did good damage. Actually, we both got so many good deals that it wasn't even that expensive, which is amazing. Basically, all my books were buy one, get one half off. Amazing. And I used my, I had $10 credit, so we love Barnes. We love being a Barnes member. Yes, we we love it. <laughs> okay, now it just keeps filming. Okay. Bye. <laughs> I'm ready. Normally I think you'd do it into that, but I want to see if it like turned the milk purple. Wouldn't that be so pretty? Yeah.
Oh my gosh, I made Really? Wow, that was tiring, but amazing. I just got out of my bar class. It's currently about 5.30 and I just finished my workout. I feel so amazing. I like really didn't want to go, but I always remind myself, you are craving that feeling of like moving your body and getting your heart rate up. And so I just went and now I feel amazing. And I'm so excited, I'm gonna drive home. I haven't seen my husband all day, so I'm gonna cook us some dinner, hopefully finish fourth wing. Uh, I am so close to finishing. It is so good, but so happy I went to bar and I went to Target today and oh, such a good Friday. I'm ready to go home though to see my husband and make dinner because I am hungry. Well, let's go. Target haul because Amy and I did go to Target today as you saw. The first thing I got, which I'm very excited about, this was very needed, is blue light glasses. And I had these blue frames would be kind of fun because uh, I feel like with my job right now, I am like basically just on the computer the whole day. And then now that I've started editing again for YouTube, I'm just like always on the computer and I've been feeling it in my eyes. So got these blue light glasses much needed and then i also got this little headband i feel like headbands are very in right now um and i think this is gonna look really cute honestly like even when i have my hair up like this i feel like it's cute but then also if i have like some pieces down in the front like i just i feel like this looks cute then i got a few clothes pieces i am so excited about this shirt it is like super flattering i feel like you're not gonna be able to tell um what it looks like but it's like a kind of cropped not not super tight, but pretty tight. Um, top with then like these big puffy sleeves. Um, I just feel like this neckline and this shape is like one of my favorites. And it's like ribbed on the back. I'm excited to wear this. So I'm kind of thinking that would be for work when I go into the office. And then I also got this, which is kind of like not technically my style, love the color but it's it's pretty tight but it's not like super super form-fitting um but it kind of reminds me of you know the shirts you see that are like scrunched up in the middle of like target or walmart this shirt reminds me of that kind of like the material <laughs> excited it gives me fall vibes and then i got two workout tops um i actually wore i was wearing the one in the car that green one i just got from target and i like changed into it for my workout class um so i don't have that one on me right now because it's in the hamper but then i also got this black little tank um but it's like super tight um and again the neckline's wider which i feel like is hard to find in workout tops i feel like a lot of workout tops are like very narrow and that's like not flattering for my body so i'm really happy to find this and honestly i might not even wear it for working out it's just like a cute ribbed black tank and then as everything i got from target love a good target run great way to start off the weekend um i have the baseball game on in the background if you can see that uh, and i just finished cooking dinner I did all the dishes and then i will just have a chill reading night maybe do some editing it's been a good good little friday hello from very future katie this was filmed about a month ish ago um, but I was rewatching the footage and I decided that I did want to edit and post it because I just had such an amazing day and I wanted to have it documented, uh, but I did not end the vlog. So that is where future Katie comes in. I am here to end the vlog 
and say thank you for watching and I really hope you enjoyed. As always, please leave below any video requests or things you want to see from me below. With that being said, I will leave you to the rest of your day. Thank you again for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!